what's uh what's chat saying that uh Oh, about 18th century Japan village debt. <laughs> so I, I can I can explain really briefly. So the Animal Crossing came out at the end of one of the longest recessions in, in recent Japanese history, um, when Japanese home ownership had dipped to an all-time low and the population was more urban than ever. And so there was a ton of advertising in the in the 90s and early 2000s that was all centered on this idea of the Furusato, which is the sort of the old Japanese village home. Um, it's the small town where your ancestors used to live, where everybody was bonded in a kind of communal sort of living. And you would, you know, plant rice in your rice paddy, but it was most of the time the rice was just growing there. So you would go up into the mountains and catch dragonflies and get fireflies together for, you know, to show your kids and you go fishing. And oftentimes the ocean isn't that, is down that way and the, the mountains are up this way. So it was a sort of perfect idyll idyllic fantasy. Uh, and like all sorts of internal Japanese tourism are built on this idea, right? Like, hey, get back to the Furusato, you know, like take a trip up to the country, uh, buy your train ticket today. Um, so Animal Crossing came out at the height of this and is clearly a fantasy about that. Uh, and the thing is, in the old village system in the Edo period before um, modern Japan, villages had collective debt because if you were a fishing village, you would have to like, pay somebody for all sorts of goods and materials that you need like nets and hooks and stuff like that like those weren't necessarily produced in your small community there are a bunch of things that are produced from the outside and a, there's a lot of traveling trade more so than in a, a lot of other nations because of the small size of japan so vill whole villages would often go into debt either to a feudal lord or to merchants who were providing them with necessary goods uh and the main person who would hold that debt was like the, the head of the village. He was the Tom Nook character in Animal Crossing. And so then he would tell all the villagers, here's how much each of you owe to the village for your share of the debt. Just like if you live in a co-op building or, or something like that, the co-op has like collective debt and then everybody has a little bit of that debt. Like, so you all sort of pay off a mortgage together. That's kind of the way that that village life was in Japan, but nobody ever paid off the debt because most of the people living in the village don't have money. They don't have any money. Where are they going to get so money? They're, just, they're fishing That's for so fish. Good. Right? It's like, the, it's like the cathedrals that would never be complete. That's right? Right. They would, uh, these, uh, in, in medieval uh, European towns, they would build these cathedrals. And as long as the cathedral was under construction, they um, didn't have to pay uh, tax. They didn't have to pay to the, to the local lord. And so the, the cathedral would never complete. Right. right, there would always be uh, one tower left. On, 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 yeah, on. so the, the debt is never paid back in a traditional Japanese village because it's what makes the village continue to function. It's like, well, you can't just leave. You owe this village like all, the, the last 10 years of like your fishing nets and whatever. Uh, and so in Animal Crossing, you're basically adopted into a village. You're a human child who's like taken into this animal village, which to me is very like also of the time. It's like the sort of Miyazaki um, spirited away kind of fantasy. And then they're like, okay, well, we're going to do you a favor because then you will become indebted to the village. Uh, so we're giving you a house. And in Japan, it's very common for one person to own the land that the house is on and another person to own the house. So for instance, my family home in Japan, we only own the building. We don't own the land. The land is owned by some way, way more wealthy, wealthy person, <laughs> right? And we have a hundred year lease on the land. Um, which I don't know when it's up, but the point is you, you keep having to pay rent and mortgages and stuff to the person who owns the land. And in the case of an old fashioned village, that's the village and the village head person, like the, the, the raccoon who runs your village owns the land. So if they were like, okay, we're building you a, a house on this piece of land, maybe you own the house, but we still own the land. And yeah, so you have to pay back the village, but if you pay back the village, then you could just leave. And like that's that would be really bad and sad for the village. So every time you pay back your debt, we're going to build something else for you on top of the house so that the debt will continue. So the that's debt's like not really a bad thing. It's actually what keeps you in the village and allows you to continue playing, right? Because of course you also have to have more stuff to do in order to keep playing the game. That's um, yeah. <laughs> that was beautiful. 
Thank you so much. That was really amazing. Yeah, yeah. I should probably turn it into a lecture at some point. That's Keep really. Mind, cool. I don't know how conscious this is for the designers of Animal Crossing. Maybe it it's deliberate. Maybe it's, it's all. It's there, whether they whether they put it in there or not. I mean, this is how games work. This you you excavate meaning. It's a collaboration between the designers and and the players and the world. Right. The fact that the world is made up out of these kinds of systems. Right. Made yep. up out of resources and and you know um currency and and um and rules that connect you know um objects to people like and then together we're kind of like digging out what what does this mean like we just dig it out so you just did an amazing dig so thank you for that yeah and so that explains you know why animal crossing is about these relationships you have with animals and it's also about this debt because they're they're kind of the same thing yep <laughs> Um, we should we should just briefly before we have to go. Let's yeah. make sure.